I'm at a trade show in Tokyo, and this is the latest version of those sushi robots that we just saw in the video. Let me just switch it on. The first generation of these robots cranked out about 1,200 pieces of sushi in an hour. This one does three times that, 3,600. That's one every second. And you can see it's measuring the space in there as it goes. That really is quite remarkable, isn't it? I don't think any human sushi chef could approach that. And over here, we have another pretty cool machine. This one makes sushi rolls. You'll see here the dried seaweed, nori, and it has the rice on top. Now, this comes out of the machine. You'll see underneath here, there's a roll. It has up to 60 meters of this nori, and it all comes out like this. The toppings are added manually as it emerges. Now, you'll see the machine takes it into this tunnel here. Right, it emerges out of the other end. It's like a train, isn't it? It goes into another tunnel where it's now cut into edible size. That's pretty cool, isn't it? This machine is for making California rolls, a kind of sushi invented in America. For most people outside Japan, sushi basically means rolls. So this one is popular worldwide. <laughs> That's really clever. I'm seeing these things for the first time today. I mean, having eaten sushi in Japan for a long time, you get used to the idea of a, a chef making the sushi by hand. So it, it's a little bit strange to me. But it's the other way around in other countries. A lot of people think machines are much more hygienic than human hands. In fact, many shops put these machines right where people can see them to show customers how their sushi is being made. They prefer machine-made sushi, actually. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Robots are not the only high-tech element in conveyor belt sushi. Let's take a look. This restaurant belongs to a major conveyor belt sushi chain with more than 300 shops around Japan. The conveyor belt here is laid out in an E shape, allowing more diners to be served than with a conventional loop arrangement. This space maximizing layout is now standard at chain sushi shops. The restaurant can serve 196 customers with a kitchen staff of no more than 15. There are actually no chefs. Everything is automated, providing high quality at a low price. The conveyor mechanism itself is also cutting edge. The kitchen receives a personal order from a diner. It's delivered along a high-speed lane, straight to the table. Here, the new direct delivery lane is accommodated in the space above the regular conveyor belt. When you're done with your dishes, you put them into this slot. It feeds a lane that runs under the regular conveyor belt and carries the plates from the table straight into the dishwashing station. A huge dishwashing machine like this can wash 1,800 plates an hour, about 20,000 each day. Washed plates are sent to the food preparation area on the kitchen's own conveyor belt system. Multiple specialized conveyor belts work in efficient unison. The same restaurant can serve up to 20,000 plates of sushi a day. To reduce uneaten sushi to the absolute minimum, they collect and analyze huge amounts of data with computers. When anyone enters the restaurant, the time and number in the party are recorded. What those customers ate, and when they ate it, is automatically locked. These plastic containers keep sushi fresh when they're on the conveyor belt, and the lids are fitted with IC chips that track when a plate is taken. Ordering of items not on the conveyor belt is done through a touch screen. 
This data is also logged. What sushi should go onto the belt at what time is determined not just by how things are going in the shop at that moment, but also by referring to a database of 80 million customers over the past 12 months, as well as local factors unique to each restaurant. The restaurants also have cameras linked to headquarters so they can be supervised remotely. Here is the chain's HQ for the Kanto region. The giant monitor shows feeds from 122 locations in eastern Japan. The employees here look out for things that the busy shop staff might have overlooked. Ah, uh, hello. It seems there are some orders waiting. Please reassign staff from washing duty to get those orders taken care of. Okay, thank you. Computer forecasting and off-site support. These two elements combine to eliminate waste and offer customers high-quality service. This conveyor belt sushi shop uses another piece of high-tech gear. The sushi comes on these ordinary-looking plates, but actually each one is fitted with an IC chip. When a handheld device is passed over the plates, it automatically works out the total price. This system can calculate the bill in a flash with perfect accuracy. Or how about this stylish sushi restaurant? It has a seamless conveyor that runs in sinuous curves. This is state-of-the-art stuff. The underside of each plate has magnets that interact with magnets under the conveyor. This is how the plates are pulled along. The technology allows the conveyor to curve anywhere, suiting the decor of the restaurant. It's also silent and vibration-free. And because there are no seams, it's hygienic and easy to clean. Conveyor belt sushi is a made-in-Japan dining concept that fuses food and technology. It continues to evolve. I'm in Shibuya now, in front of what I'm told is the cutting edge in conveyor belt sushi. Let's take a look inside. Hello. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> 78. My seat is number 78. Sit outside, it's 90. So, oh, they're all numbered. I don't see a conveyor belt anyway. 60, 60, am I 78? Right on the back. All right. Now, looks like that's the menu. Oh, yes, it is number six. Well, change the language to English. Let's, let's go for nigiri and see what they have here. All right, tuna, albacore, yellowtail, salmon, grilled salmon. OK, so, hang on, how do I order one of those? Water reel. Now, that's one that I like. OK, I'm going to have one of them. And the number, I'll just have one. OK, what should we go for next, then? Seared poke, I've no idea what that is. Hamburger in a sushi place? Wow. Uh, ah, Capelin Row. That'd be nice. I'll one of them. OK. Uh, they've got little soy sauce sauces as well. Oh. OK. Thank you very much. This whole place feels a little bit futuristic to me. It's almost kind of science fiction. Well, this ordering system is very convenient. The fact that you can order in Japanese, English, Korean, and Chinese makes it very foreigner friendly. Let's look at that. Hmm. <laughs> so, the second order comes on the second tier. I bet the third order is going to come up on this one. 
Anyway, conveyor belt sushi has really had a big impact on Japanese eating habits, not just the way they make the sushi, but on the sushi itself. Let's take a look. Conveyor belt sushi offers a wide variety of sushi toppings, and salmon is number one. A big food company compiled a ranking of sushi toppings and found that salmon had overtaken tuna as the most popular choice. Times have really changed for sushi chefs.